There it is. Oh, yes. <laughs> what do you think? No, she hasn't. <laughs> oh, you got all kinds of stuff around here. That's beautiful, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. Our new Peter built us. See, it's not that bad. It's a lot nicer than you thought. <laughs> Definitely just needs a little bit of remodeling. So here it is, guys. Our I new Peterbilt. So I know you th we threw this upon you guys. Um, our Thor RV, both parties have come to an acceptable agreement. So we're moving on from that. And we found us an older, new to us RV. Uh, a little tiny bathroom in that corner. Okay. A tiny uh, shower here, and it had bunk beds here, all race crew of eight people. We took that out. Okay. So we put the commode in shower. It was a big shower. Yeah, yeah. And you're not usually crapping and showering at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. We? And we had a new water tank under here. So I got a brand new water tank okay. underneath. Under that. Now, if you fill it up, yeah. sometimes it'll leak a little bit when you fill it up, but you don't have to fill it up. But anyway, all this works. The shower is big, way bigger than yeah, most RVs. Yeah. 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 It is. And if you gonna keep it or sell it? The this? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna keep it. Okay. What? Well, yeah. The, the plumbing, the, the plumbing is between here and the floor. Okay. For this and for the plumbing, because the frame is so busy underneath. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to drop the pipe way down. So. Yeah. Over here. Now it may need <coughs> time if you're not particular, you can get a little odor through here. Okay. Someone told me you can get a horizontal trap. Okay. All sinks have that you. Yeah, the need, P trap, yeah. Yeah. And that keeps the vapor from coming up because it stays full of water. Yeah, yeah. So it's a vapor block. That you, that's what that you does on the sinks and all Okay. Like this doesn't have a you. I've been told you can get a horizontal trap. Mm. Which the pipe goes on through there and comes a little bit of a box and goes on down to, to that time. Uh, a year and a couple months. Well, she's a year and then three months. So plenty of storage up top. Yeah, I'm mounting my TV right there with a plywood there. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's just something that's been. Yeah. Got some up top sleeping room. See, Michaela can sleep up there no problem. We got a trip in three weeks. A race team in Mississippi. Okay. I uh, took it to. Iowa mm -hmm. to Wild Side Creations to have it camp built. Okay. And he so liked the work that he bought the company and moved it to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I think near Jackson, Tennessee. Okay. So that's where Wild Side was after he bought it. But then race team in Mississippi bought it. Katrina came along. Yeah. Got through racing and guys lived in it for a while. Okay. Then it went up in Howell, New Jersey. A junkyard in Howell, New Jersey. Mr. Blewett, Mr. Blewett, Grandpa, owned the camper. Uh -huh. His son used to run race cars, but he's now an engine builder with a dyno and all. Yeah. His, his grandpa's two grandchildren in the twenties were very successful in short track racing up that way. He said, "Boys, if y'all do such and such, I buy the new camper." They did such and such. Yeah. They came to Charlotte for the grand finale in North Carolina, and they have pictures on the front cover of the, the program. Uh huh. Uh, John blew it. So, Dang. so they would, he would jump back and scrap was high. Uh huh. He was being paid by New, New Jersey and New York City speaker boxes. Yep. To pick up junk cars on New York City and New York, New Jersey. Three hundred dollars to pick them up. Then he was scrapping them and getting paid for scrap. <coughs> for scrapping. Okay. Okay. Grandpa agreed to buy him a new camper. Mm hmm. And so, oh, uh, I found it on online, racingjump.com. Okay, that's where you found this? Yeah, on racingjump.com. Back in 2007? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> I've been looking for several years. But we, we've been going to Kentucky and Tennessee and Ohio and then for 40 years. Never had enough motor to go up to West Virginia Mountain. Yeah. Never had enough brake to come down. With every old straight truck we had thought of. Oh, yeah. We tried and tried. I said, boy, I told my son, I'm going to buy something. 
that will go to Western, go to them. So yeah. Israel, or it goes. That. Now, the Blewitts in Howell, New Jersey, where Grandpa Richard Arab supposedly rebuilt the engine for the boys. I don't know what that meant. What yeah, yeah. I know what he did. He can call him a thing and tell you. Anyway, for the race team. Yeah. There, I'm down the East Coast racing everywhere. Where, where it is. Then Grandpa bought him a new one. So we, we got this. And uh, they didn't own it but a year or two. And you, but they did put all new tires on it. Uh, got it ready for the race team. They yeah. had own shop. He said they kept with 8,000 cars to be crushed on a lot all the time. So it was a pretty big operation. And so that's what went on. So Grandpa fixed them up. New camper. That's why they were selling us. And he said, I want cash money. So we bought it. Bought it home. And uh, we've had it that long. It's been to uh, Niagara. It's been to Illinois. It's been to Ohio that many times. It's been to uh, Louisville, Kentucky that many times. Gets about eight miles a gallon, don't it? Same way, yeah. Yeah. Keep the foot of that. Oh, whatever. Now, yep. we, un we don't have them hooked up. I don't like when the heater was a propane heater. Okay. We just unhooked them. But I, yep. I just threw a line. Now, this line right here yep. is to go around to hook my charges to my battery. Because it's okay. in Florida from yep. November to March. Yeah. Yep. So that cord just goes under the truck, plugs in right here for that, all that to do. Okay. And, and my son Richard. How many doors on the street? Under here, they took, they took a fuel tank and that's a great tank, Oop. a water tank. Okay. That's a great water tank. Yep. Dump by all that. Here's where they come in at the bathroom. Yep, for the shower. Right, right okay. Right that's a vent. And then goes up. But that's just a fuel tank. All right. And after that, you buy another fuel tank. Yeah, yeah. You know. Got a heck of a big old hitch right there. Jeez. <laughs> Back door. Well, that's hey, good. Oh, you're good. You're good. That's for doing another camper. Now, here at our lines back here. Yep. For the trailer. We just plugged have, off. Yep. Don't have that trailer. You can see the it plug. The okay. Generator. Generator works and everything? It didn't want to crank yesterday. Okay. We had to run it in, I don't know, 10 years? Probably. We well, had it, to turn it over. Couldn't get fuel coming with one injector. Mm hmm. You know, it pumps down here. It's, you know, so besides Suzu Diesel. Yep. And man, I think it's 25,000 kid up here. To charge, this cord goes right there. Or the generator. Okay. To generate. This way it goes to the plug in. Why is here? Going on right to your plug in to you. Okay. Put the way it won't hook up. We yeah, we can figure it all out. But he hit me. You can do it. He will came out this electric pump. Yep. Those go bad. Those go bad all the and time. It's pumping fuel. We just never could get it to come out the injector line. Yeah. One line. Come to one line. Okay. Then seven ten. I wonder if it is it tipped or not a little bit corroded. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, don't know. Water cool. All of that. Okay. Now, this is the this is the hot wire. Okay. That it goes all the way to the badges up front. Okay. I got to take them tied off, but we just jump from here, you know. But the start is on the other side. Yeah. Okay. But that's for that. It needs to go to the shop. Uh, here is just a storage compartment. The two fuel tanks. Like, okay. Like came on the truck. On each side, just like that. So just one on each side. One on each side, just like okay. that. Okay. That was just storage. That's just storage. Okay. Water hose goes with you. That's that. Uh, I like the big windows. That's nice. You got lots of sun in there. This has got a string. Two of them have strings on them, I think. Yeah, they said one of them had a little bit of a leak or something. Yeah, just put a rubber gasket uh, around them. I think that one might be sealed. Yeah, Batteries, yep. Uh, three badges. They had this master switch. Uh huh. When I was having tr pop charging problems, I put a gauge right here. Okay. Went to all man. And they had this switch right here. Okay. To cut off going in the house. This goes in the house. Okay. So that goes back into the switch and lights and water pumping all. Okay. So they had this switch here to cut that off. Or cut this off. I don't know what. That cylinder made that work. All right. But anyway, I just, I don't use it. The idea was if you're using the lights in the camper, you wouldn't kill your truck badly. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> B model cat, intercooled. Usually most of them have a big after cooler on top of them. This one's actually intercooled. So this is probably 475. 
It says 475. Yeah. It and they told us to turn it up a little bit. I didn't do that. Yeah, this little cover back here on the back of the injection pump. You get in there and uh, it smokes when they get on it too. If tinker with it. I see it's got exhaust pipes on both sides of the yeah. truck. But yeah, you can upshift and gag it. You can make people disappear. The oh, yeah. roll out of both sides. Big old muffler on there. Boy, I have to get rid of that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, no rust. That's one thing I'm happy about. Yeah, it hadn't spent much time in cold weather. Or rust, you know, it's in the shed for us for yeah. 20 years, but. Interior is pretty nice, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Air suspension, axle lock. Yep. So there it is, guys. Got 142 on the dash. Probably has some more than that. 15 speed engine brakes. Got a CB in it. 15 speed. I've never driven a 15 speed. This will be different. Such a classic. All right, what do you think? Huh? Not bad. Not bad. So now it doesn't have air conditioner. You know how it it does have air conditioner though, even though it's not on the dash. It's right here. You ever operated one of these? No. no? That's not yes, it is. Watch. You, you press this button, turn it, and it activates the air condition. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't have your straightener for this trip. It is a sweet truck. You can't lie. It is freaking cool. It doesn't need a lot of work. You needed a lot of work, but I took you on. I mean, everything looks. I, well, the last thing I want to do is crawl up on top and look at the roof. We got to do all of our inspections on this RV before we buy it. Sure. So people in the comments aren't yelling at us. It's a dang Peterbilt. Are getting so, close, so we're checking things over and the engine fan ain't kicking on like it's supposed to, even with the override switch. And we got a little bit of a fuel leak right there. Nothing major. Let's see if we can figure it out. Well, guys, I totally forgot to finish this clip here where we weren't able to get the fan working, but we've been driving down the road with no issues. The fuel leak, we tightened the injection line up, and it kind of stopped leaking, but it still leaks a little bit, but nothing major. So we're going to limp it on home. We stopped at the Loves. I forgot to show you everything on the inside, and I figured out how to turn the lights on, so let's run over all the interior details. So up here at the top is like the upper bunk. You can see where there's like some water damage up there, or maybe stains or things like that where it's going to need some attention. Uh, but I checked on the outside. Everything else looked kind of good. Remember, guys, this thing was built in 1995, so it's all actually solid wood everywhere. Um, all the cabinetry is going to need a little bit of work. <sighs> I know it's rough, but it's solid. It's a solid base to start with, you know. Like inside here, everything still needs to be cleaned. It's kind of dirty. Um, this was like a, a rack, I think, for clothing is what Bob used it for. I'm assuming there was a some kind of a uh, chairs here, maybe. I'm not sure. They built this piece of wood here that slides out and goes over the steps there at night so you don't fall down the stairs, which would be great for the kids. Uh, we found out where he rewired some stuff, and everything's kind of on light switches, so 12-volt power. <laughs> We've got a toaster oven right here, ready to freaking jam out. It's bolted up to the wall, so it's in good shape. Mirror there. Our sink's kind of tiny. We're going to have to do a bigger sink, especially with Amber. She's going to want something bigger. Um, we need a fridge that's bigger than this guy with all the kids and stuff. we got switches here for, like, the water pump. You can hear it cranking down. See if it, see if it works. Hey, we got running water. Check that out. It drains too. So we can, Amber can take a shower in here tonight. <laughs> oh boy. Let's just say she's not a huge fan of the shower pooper combination. <laughs> Pretty common in a lot of uh, campers, I think, from what I, the research I've done. Maybe you guys can see what's up there. Looks like just a light. Pretty much nothing going on crazy in here. Shower. Uh, lots of, so something to point out, like, you know, we can put a little bit smaller shower in here and make more room. There's a queen-size bed here, um, which could definitely be converted into, like, a king-size bed. Looks like a big aluminum water tank there. He wasn't joking. So, lots of room in here. Good thing about it is it's got good, solid bones. These walls are not hollow. 
Um, he said there was a water leak at one time and they fixed it, but this is none of the woods rotten because it's all like real wood. Crazy, right? Um, you know, you see some of these windows need a little bit of attention, stuff like that, but good bones. I'm excited to do something with it. I don't know about the wife. She's gonna have to deal with it. There's like storage already there. This turns into a bed. It's got good bones. So on top of a buying an RV, we're out here <laughs> picking. We got a bunch of them Cub Cadets. We do garden tractor pulling. Man. Dang, look at all them garden tractors. You got plenty of them. Everide, we sold these things new. Really? Yep, that's about the best mower you can buy right there. You can, they're just super simple. Dang. Man, you got all kinds of cool stuff in here. It just gets deeper and deeper. It just gets deeper. And this is the rough stuff. You got all kinds of wheel horse garden tractors. I'll have to buy a trailer and come back. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I remember seeing that at the show. So is this where the RV usually sits right here? How fast will it go? Jeez. You got a train a train set over there. I love I love trains. Oh, it's a plastic track, okay. Good lord. Yeah. What do you think about all this? This is wow. It's like I can't even explain. <laughs> Parked there two weeks ago. <laughs> you so full of it, your eyes are brown. Look at that. Yeah, I've been yeah ninety seven. What is? Jeez, let me figure out how to get over here without falling. It's too cold for snakes, dude. Check this out. Smells like poo poo in here. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Just repair parts, man. It never ends. We came to buy an RV and we found a. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bunch of tires and. Every magazine he's ever owned. He's got, he's, <laughs> in this other shed, he's got every hot rod magazine really? from 1950 up until... Jeez. Man. Guys, this is dangerous for me to be out here. Oh, I ain't telling nobody where this is at. <laughs> we ain't telling no one where we're at. We're in, we're in the hills somewhere. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Pedal knife grinder. Check that out. Well, Bob, you got all kinds of cool stuff here. You got to see some more. Where's the other half? I'm gonna show you. All right. That old Cushman right there or something? Yeah. Like a 350, yeah, 359 cab, looks like. Or maybe a 379, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that's old school, yeah. Oh yeah. Now look at look at this guys. This is something different. It's like an old cattle truck, ain't it? That's a cab over if you ever seen one right there. Probably a gas jobby. Oh, no, that's a diesel. Dang. That'd be a heck of a will at start right there. This door over here is open. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh, yeah. That's old school. Oh, what's that? 
V6 Detroit? V6 gas? Yeah. Must be a big V6. That's different. Oh, I'm not driving 12 hours tomorrow. No. <laughs> I forgot we're even here to buy an RV at this point. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Little tool chests. See them? Oh. <laughs> That's different for sure. Huh. Wow. Mercury, look, Amber, a Mercury wagon. Y'all like those rocks? Yeah, is that flint? No, these are Indian rocks. That's where you would grind a ton, a point. These are rocks with cop in them. That's my idea. Look at my family. Look at it. 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 Oh, wow. That is cool. These are carrier tools for making wooden whiskey barrels. That came from the, uh, hmm. the flea market over near Cape Canaveral. That's a box axle. This is a mailbox right here? Oh, that's the oven. That's the oh, okay. That's, it shows you how much I know. Yeah, it's the two sides. It's a red oven. And the more unusual stuff over here, it really is. Oh, yeah. The jewels ladies. You have shipping things. This is a... For strapping boxes. Okay, yeah. You put a roll of paper right here, goes through a blue box, and you strap boxes with it. Wow. This is hospitality. Some sweet tea. Is this sweet tea, right? Yeah. Okay. We've been places that had tea, but it was unsweet. And I was like, what? who drinks unsweet tea? Anybody west, yep. west of Ohio. Look at this. You said everything in here is for sale? <laughs> There's the garden tractors, a little Cub Cadet, 71. Now that right there, I can probably fit in the back of the RV. Come on. That'd be Gunner's first three-wheeler. You didn't grow up unless you grew up on a three-wheeler. You know that switchboard? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, see the little. Yeah. The two-stroke and it. Yeah. 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 Yep, I've seen it. I've now that I've seen this stuff, yeah. Look at that. I know, look at the power wagon. It just keeps getting better and better, don't it? Oh, check that out. That's a hot rod. Got the Dayton wheels on it. Dang. Now I like the Dodge. Dodge Brothers. That's older than the old power wagon. Tell what part of Texas I'm not telling in. anybody what part of Texas we're in. <laughs> That's something I built 20 years ago. Oh, Honda? No, no. I built it after the Honda Odyssey. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought it was at first. <laughs> Got a two-cylinder, yeah. 200cc, full-speed transmission Honda engine. Amber's not very optimistic, but I am. And this video turned out to be a lot more than what buying I, an RV. What I have to say is I shouldn't have, should have gotten that brand new RV and then going down to this. Because it ruined you. Yes, pretty much. Pretty but much. I'm pumped. Oh, it's just been so much fun. This thing's got a few issues. The engine fan isn't wanting to kick on or something for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's starting to work now. I don't know. 
So, get a little bit of fuel leak on the injection pump. The engine fans not want to kick on. We'll monitor our temps, things like that. We're going to go find a truck stop, um, get this thing full of fuel, grab a little tool kit or something in case we do have some issues. <laughs> and uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Bobby and his wife for letting us come out here and buy this thing and giving us the full tour. This is a top secret location. We will not be sharing. Don't email me. Don't comment asking where this is at. We are not telling nobody. They asked for their privacy. And we're going to give it to them. We're not, for all you guys know, we are in South America. I'm just super pumped for what the future has to hold. We found some other stuff here. We're probably end up coming back up and purchasing. We're going to be. But uh, what are you doing back there? So let's hit the road and go find a truck stop. All right, guys, we've driven about an hour with the RV, problem free so far. Got to keep an eye on that fuel leak. Our tachometer isn't working, our fan isn't kicking on for some reason. So, even though we switched, the switch, the valve is working, it's not kicking on. But we should be moving fast enough that most of the time fans on these big trucks don't ever kick on unless there's a real heavy duty load behind it. Now it's just for keeping my wife happy on the whole way home. So, we got to stop and stay at a hotel because this thing isn't up to her standards yet but it will be it's gonna be really nice this is gonna be unless someone comes along and offers me a dumb amount of money for this thing we're gonna keep it and use it for uh travel and stuff like that make it really nice so hope you guys enjoyed the new rv come up with some names of it uh we haven't really decided yet i think maybe zeus or something like that i don't know um but the other uh, previous rv we had that's in the past please don't bring it up don't talk about it it's just over and done with guys so Y'all say hello to our new 1988 Peterbilt 379. And uh, in the next video, we'll be sharing all of our traveling home, uh, all the tearing, you know, I wouldn't say tearing into it, but kind of going through and checking everything out much more deeper, if that makes sense. So make sure y'all smash the like button, subscribe, comment down below if you think this thing isn't just the coolest thing in the world. And uh, pray for me that Amber can make it through the rest of this trip, because she's, uh, She's not much of a woman who's used to riding old rigs, but we got 10 and a half hours to go.